What the flip is up, Tube Nation? It's your girl, Sarah, and I'm gonna be the evil bitch that roasts your face. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm gonna look through the Met Gala 2009 red carpet looks and I just said red carpet 2009. I wish if we could turn back time to the good old days. Give my honest opinion, but also try to like understand what they were trying to do. I've seen a couple of these looks already. Some of my friends sent some looks in the group chat, but I haven't seen all of them. So camp was the theme this year. Over the top, extraordinaire, theatrical. It's had to go as like weird and extra as possible. So let's get started. The first one is Lady Gaga, love. Everything about this. I love like the whole outfit switch that she did. She provided a show. Like this bitch is such a performer that she can't even go to a red carpet without performing something, like giving a little show. So I really appreciate her for that. Love the eye makeup. Sea urchins out of her eyes. That is so iconic. A lot of people were complaining that she wasn't extra enough, but yo, look at the detail. Like, yeah, it's black and pink and black and pink. <laughs> But honestly, I love it. I love that it's simple. And she really made that statement like, hi, I'm the host. Yeah, I'm that bitch. I deserve to be here. She's such a free person where she's like, watch me just take off all my clothes. Cause I can, cause I'm the host. I can do whatever the fuck I want. And I'm Lady Gaga and I give no shits. I'm trying to get on that level of confidence. I'll get there. Cardi B, okay. All right, giving me Moses vibes with the ripple effects in the bottom. It feels like she is in the center of the Red Sea, like she parted it and she's just chilling in it. Also, I'm just genuinely confused what the f that's supposed to be in the middle. I just don't know what that is. It looks like a body part that I don't have. It looks really comfortable. It looks like a sofa cushion. Like I just wanna take a nap on that. While she's walking, she's just like pulling me along. <laughs> I'm just laying down, taking a nap. Katy Perry. <laughs> totally. First of all, what the f It's dope. It's dope, but like, what the f You know? How do you sit during the actual show? Do you have to request three seats? I love that she stuck with the theme. I'm just like, how do you function? Like, I couldn't take myself seriously, like, talking to people like, Hey, I'm a f***ing candlestick. If my stylist put me in that shit, I'd be like, what the f*** am I doing? Like, what am I doing here? <laughs> it's cool though, she rocks it. That's totally a Katy Perry thing to do. Oh yeah, and she went as a burger. Okay. Was the burger the after party? T yeah, okay. <laughs> She's just, like, I just don't, I just, it's like, K. Okay. I don't know how I feel about the burger. I feel like she's just trying too hard, a little bit. But I don't know. I like Katy Perry. I appreciate her sense of humor. Nicki Minaj! Bitch. She is the queen of extra. She is the queen of being over the top. What the f You could have put on a, like a silly wig. I feel like I can see it in her eyes where she's just like, yeah, I know guys, this was my designer's fault. It's beautiful, she's gorgeous. It just doesn't seem authentic. She's the least boring artist ever. And so that's why I'm a little bamboozled. Kim and Kanyeezy. I was giggling my ass off at Kanye. <laughs> Kanye just looks <laughs> so removed, just so disassociated, just like, yeah. <laughs> Don't really want to be here, this isn't really my thing, but like, Kim is sexy. She's the star of this type of shit, so I'm gonna like, be in the back. <laughs> He's just like, I just want to go to the studio. <laughs> I just want to go like, ride my bike in the sunset. Like, I don't want to, this is 
too much for me. It's really sweet that he showed up for Kim. No, but Kim looks amazing. It's not really giving me the camp extraness. It's just something that I would expect from her. She's showing off her bod. It's sexy. I want her to get weird with me. I want her to show her like weird freaky side because I know she has that deep down, but she still looks hot. All right, I'm gonna do a man. I'm gonna do a man. Let's start off with Harry Styles because you guys are probably anticipating my review for that. If you don't know me, hi. I am literally a Harry stan. So I was really looking forward to his look. If you don't know Harry, like him on tour, he's very flamboyant with the way he dresses. He wears like the prints, the sparkles. I don't want to see the prints. I don't want to see the sparkles. Like, yeah, that would be cool, but like, I've seen that shit already. And so is he. Camp is like who he is. I feel like he wanted to like do a camp look that was different to how he normally is, you know? And so when I saw his Met Gala looks, I really f***ing liked it. And a lot of people hated it because it's not extra and over the top. And I know, but this is very over the top for him. His version of normal is the prints and the sparkles. This is out of the box for him. You know what I mean? It might not be for you guys or just like people that just don't know Harry, but this is very different for him, okay? And I loved it that he didn't do what everyone else was expecting. I love the lace. I love the ruffles. I love the titties poking out. And he wanted to showcase them. Random, and I'll never understand what it is or what it means, but he knows that it looks good with the lace. So he wanted the see-through vibes to really showcase the masculinity with the nipples and the tattoos and even the pants. But then the feminine sides, which are the lace and the ruffles and the f***ing earring and the heels. I loved it. He probably felt the pressure of people expecting something and he did a completely different way that was comfortable for him. This is his first Met Gala, y'all. Cut him some slack and really try to appreciate what's going on actually than just like surface level. Like, what the f***? You know? It's not boring. Appreciate the little details. Next. I just love him so much. And I, I know him and I get what he's doing. He's trying to throw people off and that's annoying to people. Next. This is fun, I like this. Jared Leto. It's sick. It's sick. It's sick. It's very artsy, very camp. I love it a lot. I love it a lot. It gets people talking. I love the jewels. I love the dress. He's just a gorgeous person. And his own set of hair? Damn. You know he deep conditioned that shit. It looks so shiny. I feel like if I ever had to hold eye contact with Jared Leto, I would crumble. <laughs> I've only felt that way with one other person and that was Ellen. Seeing her make eye contact with my friend Ebony, I was just like, ooh, that's too much. <laughs> That's how I feel about Jared Leto, too. He's just too, too good. Sean Mendez. All right. Love Sean Mendez. He's a sweet soul. I really do admire him. But this is just kind of what I expected from him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not as theatrical as all these other f***ing hoes. But, you know, he's doing what makes him comfortable. A lot of people can say it's boring and whatever. But, hey, give him a few years, okay? And I feel like that's when he's going to truly blossom and really know what he likes. And maybe this is just, in a few years, he'll give us some more flavor. But hey, he looks comfy. He looks happy, so. Love you, Sean. Darren Chris. Now this is a bitch that really f knows himself so well where he can take his own style and electrify it in terms of what the theme is. That's what I kind of wanted with Sean, but Sean just, it's okay. He's young, but Darren Chris is like older. He's experienced. He's more like loose with it. He's more loose with who he is. The makeup, bitch? Are you joking? I love like the little strip on the lip. Oof. That could be a song, strip on the lip. Gigi Hadid. I f with it. I love the makeup. It's so frosty. People were talking so much trash about her look this year because like she looked bald or whatever. I thought it was so cool. The turtleneck and like the lashes. Oh my God, the sea urchin vibes. The one piece looks like she's just like dripping in metallic. You know those metallic markers that you would use as a kid, like the gold and the silver ones? I feel like someone just like painted her. Silver and gold paint is just dripping from her and I think it's so sick. 
And it's very camp too because of the, the jacket that she's wearing with like the feathers all the way down and the high heel boot. Dude, this is sick. If anybody else tried this, I get how it would be weird. But I think this is cool for her. Bella Hadid looks sexy too. I love the arm shit going on. I think it's really elegant and hot. Love the short hair. The hip bone though, okay, I just have like this weird thing with hip bones. One of my biggest fears is like jamming my hip bone on something hard, like on a desk or just like running into something and like hitting my hip bone just cause I've done that so much as a kid and it physically like makes me want to crumble up. I don't know why, the pain is just so bad. So like whenever anyone touches my hip bone, it like triggers this like pain. So when I saw her, I was like, I had to like cover her hip bone because I'm just, I'm worried for her. I don't want her to like run into something sharp <laughs> when it's exposed like that. Cause Sorry, just a weird thing about me. It's nothing about like the way it looks when it's exposed. I'm just like, ooh, you know, I don't know. Y'all are gonna roast me for that, but like, I don't care. Casey Musgraves. Casey Musgraves is the one of the cutest bitches ever. Like, I think she's adorable. Just her vibe, her essence. Like, she totally came as a Barbie. The long blanket thing she's holding. Her purse is a hair dryer. She's cool. And she can pull it off. Like, if anyone else tried to do this again, like, it wouldn't work. But Casey Musgraves is just a cute bitch with a great vibe. And she's just spunky and fun. And she's just trying to provide some comedic relief without going hamburger. You know what I'm saying? Katy Perry was very, like, extra. I'm gonna be a hamburger to make people laugh. But Casey Musgraves is like, yeah, bitch. I got a hair dryer as a purse. J-Lo was just like, okay, I've seen this before. You're hot. Like, I can't even imagine being that hot at your age. But I'm just like, come on, bitch. Give me the spice. Give me the pizzazz that I know that you can provide. I know you can provide it. I just hot. Like I said with Kim, give me the freakiness. I'm just bored with it. It's like very like Hollywood glam, but it's like, okay, I'm bored. I want something freaky. This is like an art show. So it's like an art and fashion show. This is just like fashion totally, but give me the art and that headpiece just isn't enough. Paint something else. I think Kris Jenner best dress for me. Kris Jenner looks like a star. She looks like a baddie. I love the shoulder wing things that drip down. I love that she wanted to do something with the blonde wig. She's not one of those moms that wants to like stay in the background kind of like Kanye. She wants to shine because she deserves to shine. If she looks like that, she's just fitting in with the teens. She's just like that cool mom that just wants to fit the f in. Like she just has that spirit of a young mom and she just wants to flourish on her own. She doesn't care about the people that are like, you're way too old to do that. She's like, who? Where? What is too old to do anything in this life? Why dress the way that society tells you to dress at that age? She's going against the grain. I love it. Okay, next. Ezra Miller. Oh my god. The optical illusion makeup and the mask. He knows what the uh, the corset. Oh, it that is literally so cool that he embodied camp so much the masculine the feminine the extraness in all the right places Like he really like spread it out. He's just art in general. He's such an interesting fellow. He's great I really appreciated that. Oh my god Janelle Monae is just like okay Janelle Monae is just like that bitch and also I want to say something Y'all dragged me in my Coachella video because I didn't realize it was Janelle Monae that was hugging Childish Gambino after This Is America. I'm sorry! It was just the side of her face, okay? You guys roasted my ass, being like, um, that was Janelle Monae, how do you not know who that is? And it's like, I do, I love her. It was just the side of her face, okay? Anyway, she's a queen at the Met Gala. Like, what the f***? That boob art? All the hats? How? How? Physics has left the chat. How the fuck are those bouncing there? She's such a f freak and I love her. If I could trade lives with one person for a day, her. She looked gorgeous. Um, Kylie and Kendall looked so hot. Purple on Kylie is just a mood. Lavender purple just really shows her aura. 
not to be that bitch right now. I was really honestly proud of Kendall this year because I was kind of expecting her to kind of not get it just because she's like a very chill, like laid back person and she's not very over the top, but she really went over the top with this one. Like she really did and it was just the right amount for her. It's still very much them. Like this is like crazy for them. Like this is them being freaky and weird. Frank Ocean. <laughs> I love him. I'm glad that he went. I just wish he would have given me a little bit more. Like, I just hope that he sees himself as more than that because I think he's so great and I just love when people wear things that really show off who they are and I wish he would have given that to me. But I know he's just trying to keep it chill because he's a chill dude. I'm glad that he got to go. I hope that he had a good time. Looking like a security guard though. But hey, if he's comfortable and happy in that, do you, brother. Who's next? <sighs> Cara Delevingne, is that how you say it? I think it's cool. There's bananas on her head. I love it. I love the rainbow stripes. It looks like paint. I wonder if those are real bananas. That'd be kind of sick if she's just like sitting there watching the show and just like has a snack. That's genius. I think Celine Dion looks sick. Are you kidding me? The fringe, but it's like diamond fringe. Ah, I can't imagine how much that costs. And the headpiece. She is a walking chandelier, but not like Katy Perry. It's like the elegant chandelier, like I'm expensive type shit. Even if she didn't wear the headpiece, it would still blow my mind just cause of like her. But the headpiece just really like, I'm that bitch. <laughs> Here I am. If I were to wear that, <laughs> I would feel like a damn fool because I'm just like not at that level. She's like so experienced in life and just so sure of herself and like knows who the f she is and how much she's worth. It's just so easy and believable. Miley. She really came out here as Hannah Montana. I love that she's not in that mindset anymore where she's like trying to reject Hannah Montana, she's just embracing it full force, and she's even got the haircut. It was a cool concept for a kid's show, and she was the star of it. And it's f***ing me up a little bit, because it's like, wow, Hannah Montana grew up, and she has a husband who's a sexy Australian. Liam, though, come on, brother. Liam. We want more from you. Like, Kanye, we get it. Him just wearing a black suit, we're like, thank you a little bit. Cause it's like, just let someone else shine for a second. With Liam, I just want a little bit more. Come on, brother. I know there's something in there. The plain black suit? Come on, dude. He's just like so humble and sweet. He's just like, I'm just here for her. Okay, Zendaya. At first when she walked out in the dress, I was like, okay, cute. Like, this is cool. Shoulder puffs, cute blonde short hair, very Cinderella, but it was like, it was like emo Cinderella. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm in my punk phase, Cinderella. You know, like the punk Cinderella edits? If she had tattoos and shit, she would be punk Cinderella who like rebels against her fairy godmother and shit and she like sneaks out with boys. But then the designer, he comes out as like the fairy godmother, father, whomever. He comes out with like a stick and he goes like this, smoke. This bitch's dress lights up from the bottom all the way up to the top. And this bitch gets electrified. And that's what I'm talking about. Remember earlier when I was like, I want them to be them, but electrified? She took that concept, made it sick because she was like Cinderella vibes, but it's still very much her. And then quite literally electrified that shit. And those are some dope ass colors. That's a dope ass idea. And she's a dope ass human. She's one of the coolest celebrities. She really showed the world like, yeah, I know how great I am. This is my vibe. And we at home were like, totally. <laughs> Cause it's just, who the f That is camp. C-A-M-P. Zendaya. Camp Daya. She knew she had to like fill in Rihanna's shoes cause she wasn't there. So she's like, <laughs> Rihanna's not here, I gotta like, I gotta do it. I gotta do my thing. <laughs> I got some shoes to fill and I'm gonna fill them right. Good for you, bitch. Let's see. <laughs> if 
for anybody else that I missed. Billy Porter, like, totally. He literally hired shirtless men to carry him because he knows that this is the only time he could ever do this and it would be kind of acceptable. This is probably one of his, like, fantasies. Just being carried somewhere and the theme is camp. It's like, do it, brother. I think it was cool. A lot of people, like, hated it because they were like, too much. But it's like, you're intimidated because you know you could never do that. So chill and let him be free. <laughs> this is obviously how he feels about himself, so let the birdie fly with his wings. I love the wings. <laughs> The gold wings, bitch. You don't understand. Whenever I'm at a party and I'm drunk, I always bust out this move where I'm a f***ing bird because like when I'm drunk and like all my anxieties are gone and I'm just like a free f***ing birdie, I should feel that way without the alcohol and that's what I'm working on. <laughs> With like self-care and like loving myself and shit, but like when I'm drunk, I'm just like yo And I love that that's how he is. He's just like not only am I a bird, but I'm a golden bird I deserve to be carried by shirtless men In gold pants. That's sick. I can't imagine being him and like feeling that way <laughs> Good for you, man. I'm working on that level of confidence 100% yeah, I think I'm done here. I'm just like over it. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Comment what your favorite look was. Mine definitely was Zendaya. But at the end of the day, these people wore what they wanted to wear. And they were expressing themselves in the way that they wanted to express themselves. I wish the men would step it up and get out of those black suits. Step out of your comfort zone. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. This video isn't sponsored, so buy my merch down below. <laughs> I'll put the link there. Love you, stay safe, but not too safe. Get a little crazy, get a little freaky, but not, actually, there's no such thing as too freaky. Get freaky, but be safe. Love you. <laughs>